Some time ago, I did a video explaining how to get started with Cisco ACI simulator. And if you don't know, this is essentially the easiest way to get started with Cisco ACI without buying uh, the Cisco ACI infrastructure, meaning the APIC uh, leaf switches and spine switches. After that video, I've received a lot of messages from you guys that wanted to know more about Cisco ACI. So I decided to make this video to share which resources I've been using to study for Cisco ACI and also which resources I plan to use. Okay, one of the resources that I'm using is the Cisco ACI simulator that you can download directly from Cisco for free and this is a great way for you to really have hands-on experience without spending money on hardware now Cisco ACI simulator has two main limitations and one of them is that every time you power off the APIC you're going to lose your settings your configuration which means that when you power it on again you will have to discover the switch and set everything again from the beginning now, for some of you guys, this might be a problem, but a quick way to just to solve it is just to pause the VM. Just pause, don't power off. Quite simple. That's what I do, actually. Now, another limitation is that you don't have data plane, meaning uh, you have switches, but they are not actually switches. Uh, you can discover them as switches, but you won't be able like to validate whether you have ISIS running as the underlay uh, technology on a Cisco ACI deployment, okay? But those two limitations can be solved easily. Uh, one of them is by not powering off the machine and another one I'm going to tell you in a minute. An easy way to get started with Cisco ACI concepts is by taking a look at the labs on the Cisco DevNet sandboxes. So they have a couple of labs there that you can get started. And one of them that I would recommend taking a look at is the understanding ACI. And this is going to take you, what, around 30 minutes to complete. And this is a, a very short course and it's going to be straight to the point. You will learn or you understand the difference between NXOS mod and Cisco ACI. And also the ACI components and terminology, tenant networking, tenant policy, and explore the GUI or the graphical user interface. This is one that I already did and I do recommend you taking a look at it. Now, another resource that I plan on using is the Cisco ACI design guide. And this document, I uh, might take a look at it uh, after uh, spending some great time with the hands-on part because I want to have like a solid foundation and I'm able to operate uh, Cisco ACI fabric. And I know like, the basic to support an infrastructure then i'm going to take a look at the design this is where i'm going to see okay the best practice uh, how aci is supposed to be deployed uh, how you probably deploy uh, multi-tire architecture this kind of things and you can see this document it's a long one It's a long one because there is a lot of great content on this type of documents so it's going to take some time for me to get to it and to also to read it so this is going to be another one that i'm going to use another resource that i plan to use is the cisco aci uh initial setup configuration example this is going to be more like a hands-on type of guide because they have like a scenario where they deploy the cisco aci fabric and you get to see okay this is what they're using for this deployment and also the different types of configuration that they're going to do why they did it and you get to understand this and you can also replicate and that's what i intend to do is to replicate this on the cisco aci simulator as much as i can now because i don't have the data plan obviously a lot of things i won't be able to practice but again this is a strategy that i use during my ccie uh, preparation where I had to study for uh, Cisco SDA and I didn't have an infrastructure I was using uh, Cisco environment for for that reason and even just using with some limitation I was able to like extract the most valuable and important things and 
this is the way that I've been studying ever since. So I plan to do it as well for Cisco ACI. Another resource that I'm actively using besides the Cisco ACI simulator is the platform Cisco U. More precisely, three courses related to Cisco ACI. Now, if you go to Cisco, A Cisco U and you search for Cisco ACI, you're going to find three courses. So one of them is going to be the implementing Cisco application centric infrastructure. So this is going to be like an introduction to Cisco ACI. And if you expand here, you can see that I've been taking these courses and this is going to be a long one, by the way. Uh, so you have the Cisco ACI fundamentals, you have Cisco ACI basic packet forwarding, extended network connectivity, and Cisco ACI integrations. And one of the reasons why I'm doing this course on this platform, A, because I have access to this platform, to this content. And also second one is that I get to practice with the labs within this platform, meaning you'll be able to uh, test how to deploy things using the labs in this platform and you also have access to the data plane something that you don't have on Cisco ACI simulator now the other course is going to be I would say like the advanced version of the first course that's going to be implementing Cisco ACI advanced and you have like advanced packet forwarding policy configuration Cisco ACI integrations and you have multiple and multi-site deployment and again you also have labs you have assessment but I'm more for it because of the labs because this is something that you can do with the Cisco ACI simulator and last one is going to be the troubleshoot Cisco ACI again you learn the fundamentals you learn advanced stuff then you know how to fix problems and I believe this is going to be enough for me to really have an understanding about Cisco ACI. And that's the reason I'm sharing this with you guys. Now, there are other topics around Cisco ACI. If you take a look at Cisco U, the content, like things related with automation and application. But I don't plan on doing those because I don't need it this time, probably in the future. But anyway. I'll let you guys know now the last resource is going to be uh, the Cisco ACI onboarding and implementation training videos on Cisco learning network this is just one of the resources that I have but to be honest I don't think I'm going to use it because I saw that the version here is 3x something and I'm not sure whether this is the latest version so i don't know i'm going to see and it only takes what five hours but this is also one additional resource that i have and i want to share this with you guys so this is it guys these are the resources that i've been using and that i plan to use in order to become a cisco aci expert or professional now if there is something else that you want to know about cisco aci like do a live session with a cisco aci expert let me know in the comment section send me a message and i'll try to make that happen okay so if you took value from this video don't forget to subscribe hit the like button and i'll see you in the next one Bye bye